A busy night for basketball and not just on the college court either. We'll get to the Pacers on the road shortly. But first, Brad Brown takes us to Lucas Oil Stadium where the Boilermakers battled into overtime. A sluggish first half for the Purdue offense saw them fall behind by double digits early, down 32-24 at halftime. But a strong second half surge from Jaden Ivey and an awakening of Trevion Williams pulled Purdue even at 57 and again at 61 all. That would be the score that sent the game to overtime. Purdue, though, went scoreless for the first four minutes of the extra period. That would prove to be too much. Javion Hamlet scored 24 for North Texas. They get their first ever NCAA tourney win. Purdue won and done with a 78-69 loss. They just loaded it up, and they, they were going to force us to make some shots and, and force us to make you know, that next play. And I, I thought when we did those things, we got quality shots. Obviously, in the first half, we didn't knock those down, but we also rushed some things. And, you know, we just had to do a better job. Um, it's not like anything that we haven't seen. I think they emphasized it a little bit more and, uh, you know, made us uh, beat us in that area more from the perimeter than probably other people do. Um, but I, I, I thought it was uh, nothing a whole lot different. The Pacers on the road with the tourney in town Friday night in Miami. An offensive explosion for the Pacers. They scored more than 30 in each of the four quarters. First time they've done that in a game this season. Malcolm Brogdon's 27 points led seven players in double figures. That's the third time this season they've done that. 137-110 the final, a season-high scoring total for the team. They shot 58% from the field, hit another season-best with 20 three-pointers made. T.J. McConnell tallied 15 assists, just an all-around solid performance from a team that really needed a win. Same two teams play again in Miami on Sunday afternoon. The Pacers aren't back home until Wednesday night. Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.